Emma, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video. I am getting my college graduation pictures taken today. What? Like literally where has the time gone? Also, I'm sorry if my hand is a little shaky. My vlog camera is broken, so I'm using my giant Canon ADD on like a tripod, like a handheld tripod, and it's very heavy and my arm is hurting. But like I said, I have my college graduation pictures today. I can't believe this time has come, and I thought it would be super fun to like take you guys along on the prep for the pictures because there's a lot that goes into it. I gotta get my nails done, gotta whiten my teeth, gotta tan, gotta get ready, and I just thought it would be fun to take you guys along for the process. I feel like I have been looking forward to taking my college graduation pictures for so long because I've seen so many cute ones and I just feel like I'm just so excited to have mine. I think I'm literally gonna like cry when I see them. Just seeing myself in like a cap and gown and like I just can't believe I'm about to have a degree. Like it's just all super bittersweet and I feel like the pictures are like the perfect representation of that. Okay, so right now I'm going to head downtown to our university store because I'm gonna get a little Cal Poly alumni like crew neck because my photographer said I could do a little outfit switch at the end so traditionally you wear like a white dress and all your like stoles which are like the little sashes your cap but then sometimes people like to switch into like their what is it called um just like their university gear like to show off their school so I'm gonna get a Cal Poly alumni crew neck which is literally so surreal that I'm gonna be buying one because never thought this day would come I mean I did but it just came so fast but I'm gonna go get one to switch into at the end of the shoe and I'm gonna wear like jeans and white shoes I think with that okay you guys I just got back from the bookstore I'm gonna show you what I got so I've been wanting to get this for a while and I was like should I wait till I graduate should I not I was there so I got it it's an alumni license plate frame and it's so cute and I can't believe like I finally have one of these don't worry you guys I'm not gonna put it on until I actually graduate because that would be cheating but the real star of the show what we came for was this alumni crew neck this was the one I was wanting to get and they had it this is her super cute and it's almost like i feel like this style is like low-key kind of like vintage like gives me 90s vibes but i really like it and it's kind of washed out on camera right now but this is yellow this is dark green and i'm gonna wear it with jeans and some white shoes for my second outfit and then you guys i have a little bit of a dilemma so i ordered these four dresses from princess polly today are my pictures today and I haven't decided which one I'm going to wear. So I'm going to try them on for you guys once I wash off my tan. And you guys can tell me which one looks best. Even though you're not going to get to help me by the time I have my pictures. But you can comment which one was your favorite. And hopefully it's the one I chose. So the night before any event or like pictures, I will do self-tanner. Because I am very fair and I just feel a lot more confident when I have my tanner on. So I've been using this one lately. St. Moritz, I think. St. Moritz. Don't know how to pronounce it. But... It's in the shade medium, and I just love this one because I feel like it gives me a really natural looking tan. I haven't washed it off yet, so if you think it looks a little crazy, it does because I haven't washed it off yet. It's not like that bad, but um, once you rinse it off, it looks better. I just like to keep it on as long as possible, but I am about to rinse it off, and then I'm going to put in some white strips on my teeth so and then you guys saw got my nails done i love them i just did classic french and then i also got my feet done too i always do white but especially for pictures i just feel like they pop the most and then these are the white strips that i use i just supply them whenever i feel like i need a little like refresh um but especially before any event or pictures they're just the crest 3d white strips i love these okay post shower i'm applying this jergens natural glow daily moisturizer this just like helps lock in my tan and moisturize your skin which is obviously super important here is the fit in all her glory so since my school colors are gold and green my gown is like this evergreen color this is my stole for my sorority which obviously doesn't really match the green but it's okay i think most stoles for sororities are red so it just is what it is and then behind it i have my cal poly stole it says cal poly 22 2022 literally so crazy i still haven't tried on the gown so i hope it's not ginormous on me but you like put in your height and then it's like custom ordered but i don't think for my pictures i'm gonna be wearing the gown very much i think i'm just gonna do like a white dress with the stoles y'all <laughs> My ears are like sticking out of the cap. Like, what are you supposed to do? This looks so stupid. But here's me in my first dress. I'm not even sure which one I'm gonna wear yet. I'm probably not gonna wear my cap or my gown in most of my pictures. Probably just like mostly my sash, but 
what do I do about this? Like, that's not a cute look. Help, help a girl out. <laughs> okay, here is the look we're going for. I know I look really stupid right now because my ears are like sticking out of the cap and I don't know what to do about that. I'm sure my photographer will help me, but it's just like a white dress with nude heels and then my stole and my cap. Um, and in some pics, I won't have the cap, so yeah but this is my first option for a dress i really like this one the only thing it is it is a little bit tight like in the rib area and i haven't eaten yet today so i'm scared like the second i take a bite of something i'm gonna look like pregnant so we will see but i really like the style of this dress a lot it's definitely like my favorite in that sense but i'm gonna try on the other ones and show you guys and then my nude heels are from lulu's i love them okay here's the second one this one is a romper I really like it but i feel like it's a little bit short and i don't know like how the sleeves will look with the cap and not the cap the gown and the stoles but i really like like how springy this one is i just feel like it might be a little bit too short yeah see i feel like with this one like the stole is just way too long for this dress unfortunately but it's really cute so right now i'm still leaning towards the first one okay here is number three I feel like this one's almost like a little too flowy for me. I also just feel like this stole is way too long since I'm literally five feet tall. It just like, it's so long, but I don't know. This one's like, see, this one's like almost too big, but then the first one I showed you guys is like a little too small. I feel like we're either gonna have to go too big or too small and I'm leaning towards too small because I'd rather it like fit tighter than be loose. Okay, here is the last one. This one almost feels like a little too grandma-ish for me. I don't know. I feel like I need to wait till my hair and makeup is done to really make the final decision because it's really hard to tell if it's not done, you know? So I'm gonna wait until then, but I'm leaning towards the first one. Okay, hi guys, it is about one o'clock. I have my pics at four and I'm headed to my friend Tay's house. She's gonna do my makeup. She's super talented um, and my hair too because I just feel like she's gonna make it look way better than I could. Um, so I have my makeup bag in the front seat and then my camera so hopefully I can film like a little bit while we're there. I'm gonna stop at Starbucks really quick right now to get her a little drink and yeah we're gonna go head over there. Okay, you guys, my hair and makeup is done. I'm about to head to my pics. I did end up going with the first dress. I just feel like it goes best with the regalia. Um, so this is what we're doing. I'm super pumped. I'm about to head back to Taylor's house and I have my white strips in, which is why I kind of have a lisp, but I'm about to head back to Taylor's house so she can touch up my hair and then I'm gonna head to campus for pictures. <laughs> I just got back from the first location. My hair is so messy from the wind it was so windy there at cal poly's campus so i came back here really quick i'm gonna touch up my hair and then we're gonna go to terrace hill which is this really pretty like lookout point and it just it's so pretty at sunset so hopefully we'll catch it in time so i'm gonna fix my hair and i'm hoping that these all still turn out we almost rescheduled because the wind was so bad there for a second but then it died down she is getting ready
Ideal. Just keep doing it, keep doing it. Okay, amazing. It didn't do it. Now, no. now you're gonna put your thumb halfway over and then, and then just start shaking it. Oh my god, that was actually really good. Amazing. Yay. You like a. Yes. Amazing. Love it. Okay, so cute. And she done. How do you feel? Whoa. All right, you guys, that is a wrap. It's crazy because it's supposed to be from four to five, but ended up going from four to seven because. We, the wind was crazy at first, so that took a while. Then I had to go home, touch up my hair. Then we came to another location. Then I did a little outfit change in the backseat of my car, which was a struggle for real. But we are finally done. And I like hardly eaten today just because when I have like big things going on, I just like don't have an appetite. And I'm also just like so like go, go, go the whole day. So I've hardly eaten. I'm really hungry. We are going to get a celebratory dinner at In N Out. <laughs> Me and Caleb. <laughs> Um, and there isn't one in slow so we have to drive to like the next town over so we're gonna go there I'm super stoked because I haven't had it in and out in a really long time. So see you guys there. Here we are oh. <laughs> Okay, here's the spread they gave us an extra burger so Whoa. And then we got Perks. animal fries. I'm super excited. I've never gotten these so I'm excited <laughs> So this is Emma's first time trying animal style fries, which is crazy to me. <laughs> and the verdict it's, is... It's like ketchup. Yeah, the, the thousand island dressing. It's good. It is that. It is ketchup. Really? Yeah, it has oh. mayo. It's like mayo, ketchup, and onion, I think. It's good. I like it. 10 out of 10 recommend. 